Hey guys, welcome back to Operation RV. That is right, we have another episode here starring Blue. And today's episode is going to be regarding window seals, the inner and outer channel. Also, the seal that goes up and above and around the actual uh, door itself to keep the wind noise out. And also, cab seals to keep the uh, water, whether or not you're washing your vehicle or driving in the rain, from entering into and through the cab and damaging your carpet. So stick around because I have some awesome stuff. I got some parts here from LMC. I'll go ahead and provide those part numbers, but uh, let's get it installed. All right, so this is everything that you're gonna need from left to right, including the flathead and the, uh, the black uh, super strength uh, weather strip sealant or adhesive. Uh, so to the left is its own part number. Okay, let's zoom on in here. These are from LMC truck. What this does, this is the aftermarket seal that come on, I want to say model 78 and after, but it was added to these trucks to reduce wind noise and it sits up here above the, uh, the door and it keeps out additional wind noise. And it probably helps out with a little uh, moisture too. So everything aside from the screwdriver and the adhesive, so these inner and outer channel, this is the seal that goes to the front of the glass I'm sorry, to the uh, top of the glass, to the back, okay? And then this seal right here, the skinny one, all it does is go from here all the way down. This is one entire kit. I'll go ahead and put that uh, part number uh, below down in the description. I threw away the bag prior because I've already done the driver's side. So this, this right here is the cab seal. And essentially, it's gonna go all the way around the entire cab. All right, guys, let's get rocking and rolling. Stay tuned. All right, so we're here on the driver's side. I went ahead and did the entire driver's side off camera just so I can have my own experience to kind of let you guys know what we'll be doing later in the passenger side. So simply what I've done here is just the exact mirror opposite on the passenger. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom on in here. So what the uh, left kit, um, that I showed previously first, uh, what that is, is the wind noise seal. So as you see, I have it all the way, starting from the front door, all the way up to the top, and all the way down to pretty much where your door striker hits. Okay, that's that part number. The second was the kit that had the inner window channel and the outer okay this acts as a buffer so if you get condensation the inside of this is felt and kind of as you roll up or down the window it helps a little bit to wipe that window clean so you have more visibility the exterior channel here it's almost like a squeegee like you see on most uh, vehicles when you roll up or roll down the window if there's condensation it acts as a wiper. So that's the outer channel. It comes with that also, okay? So this channel, or this uh, seal that runs from the top here all the way down inside the door, and as you see, kind of falls, Let's zoom on in, right there, just kind of lays there, all right? And then the second one, it goes from the top here all the way to the back, all the way down, okay? And then if I can zoom in here, you'll see it actually sitting down in that channel itself there too. That's that kit. And then the furthest that I showed you to the right there earlier, or a little bit earlier, is the cab seal, okay? And what this does is it goes all the way around the entire cab of the vehicle just like that and how I want to start it and how I suggest you start it is here first go up this entire section with the adhesive let it let it get tacky and then continue all the way around to here okay and then add the rest of it here and follow through so essentially guys when you shut the door 
it shuts a lot more solid and all these gaps that you see is gonna help so much when it rains or you wash your vehicle to keep all this rain out. All right, so let's get working on this passenger side. All right, so what I like to start out with is this inner and outer um, window channel. It's very brittle, so a lot of this is probably gonna, just gonna break up and pop, pop out and break. But each one of these has a rivet that you just kind of grab that screwdriver, lift it right out, okay? Follow it along, just like that, okay? like that and one back here that should be it for this one this isn't so bad there it is guys nasty old and brittle all right next um, I go ahead and start with the outer same thing and you do want to be a little bit delicate with the glass there don't want to pry it too hard but these should pop out. And if the metal rivets break, it's okay. You got new ones that are built with it. So there it goes. That came out a little bit. A little, a little difficulty. There we go. And let's go on down the line. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Take all this out here. And then literally, guys, this top portion here. Um, once I get these out, we'll go ahead and pull the front seal out. All right, so I went ahead and got those the front uh, those uh, in and outer channels off. So now we're on the front on the inside of the door. What you want to do is kind of pinch it here, give it a good tug, and let me back this camera out so you can kind of see, get a good grip around it. And um, here's where you want to kind of go back up to the top. Do the same thing. You might need to get your screwdriver. All right, and just give it a simple tug, and it kind of goes back and forth on this door. Hold on the window, give it some more leverage, and this one pulls right out just like that. Okay, and now on to this top portion, where this is going to be a lot of dry rock. Dry all right, so this top trim that goes all around to the back, it's gonna be just a little bit, uh, I guess time consuming, because check it out, it's very brittle and it just chips off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this tedious stuff off camera and we'll, we'll get all this knocked out. All right guys, so off camera I had to do this just because I'm working with uh, one hand holding the camera, so I needed both hands. Uh, what you wanna do is once you get it, uh, inserted correctly and, and laid in, uh, have the window rolled up halfway, pull the gasket out, put some more of the adhesive into the, the mounting bar and on the back of the actual uh, seal and go ahead and run it down. And then what you wanna do after that is go ahead and roll the window down, right? Let's see. Roll this window down. And then what you wanna do is now that it's measured properly, go ahead and pull it all the way out. Let it lay right here. Add your adhesive all the way up into the channel on the back of the seal. Then go ahead and uh, get the seal pushed back into the channel. Roll back up your window, just so it'll seat properly. And now what we're doing is we are on this back side. So it's very important. These notches, there's only one set, okay? Those notches is what's round rounds out right there into this channel. Okay, so make sure those notches are gonna be on this point, not on the bottom down here, okay? So what I do is I just lay it over my shoulder like so, so it doesn't the felt doesn't get dirty. And I go ahead and grab the, the end of it here, like this, and kind of pinch, pinch it because you almost want to set it right in the channel like that. So what I do is just go ahead and set it in the, the glass like that and pinch it and then start pushing it down into this channel. And it's going to be give and take, give and take. 
you gotta man uh, manipulate the window up and down a little bit, but what you're doing is you're walking this all the way down. So it's at its lowest point, okay? And then so essentially what you wanna do is push this into the channel all the way around like so until there's no slack. So I gotta push this down in the window that much further. All right, the next, go ahead and run you a bead all the way down the back of the seal, okay? And then how I do this, just so it doesn't get everywhere, is I set it on my shoulder like so, okay? Sorry for the footage, again, one-handed. All right, so now you can pay attention to the seal. I can still operate the camera. And you wanna pinch the seals just like this, pinch and push in, pinch and push in, pinch and push in. Okay, now the top is where it kind of gets a little tricky. Be right back. All right, I'll be the first one to attest that this uh, adhesive sealant, uh, this stuff right here, it's very tacky, okay, it dries pretty quick, but you do want it to dry for a few seconds to allow the tack a little bit more so your stripping does not fall. There are times, I'm not gonna sit here and uh, for editing purposes say it, it doesn't work outright. You know, it's already tried to fall a couple times, but if you let it air dry just for a few extra seconds, you're gonna see just how much more uh, this is gonna help you when it comes time to getting this a good seal, okay? So go ahead and do this all the way down the truck. Like that. Make sure it's all the way in. And then now you can go ahead and roll it up and get it seated inside. So it allow time to, to actual dry with the window up, which is pretty nice. Boom, lock the window in just like that. And as you see, there's a couple spots here. You're just gonna push in with the screwdriver and let, uh, let it stick. Here's the outside, come back out over here. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just run your finger up through here and uh, get the seal kind of tucked in like this. All right, so now I'm moving on to the uh, air seal that runs up along the front of this door here to the top, all the way around to the back. And again, it's gonna be this part number here. And I'm gonna set the phone down, try to do this one-handed. Let's see. Okay. You want to leave it in the bag because you don't want dirt on it because of the type of material this is. Um, it, it'll allow for better adhesion uh, once there's once it's applied because there's no dirt. So, same effect. I'll go ahead and lay, lay it over my shoulder. You see this channel right up top here with my, my thumbnail? This is the flat side that you want to go against the truck, okay? So essentially, you'll just lay it over like this. Bear with me one second, one-handed here. And it's gonna pretty much lay like this, okay? Just like that. Let me zoom out a little bit. So it's gonna sit just like this, okay? This flat channel, like I said, right here, 
flat channel. It's gonna set up against the wall, okay? That way when you shut this door, uh, this jam right here, kind of what it does is smush up against that and keeps an airtight seal. So how I've already measured it, let me set the phone down again or aside so I can show you, is uh, you can cut this in lengths on however you want. I went ahead and used the whole length because I want maximum, um, I want maximum um, like um, efficiency for no air coming in the vehicle. So right here at your first hinge, I keep mine about right there because when it wraps all the way around, this last part here, it'll be just like the driver's side door. It'll stop right where your door stri striker is. And to me, that's perfect. Because you allow all the way from here, all the way around to seal from here, all the way around the truck to here. So let's get started. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and added the, the bead onto the metal part of the door. And then I also put it on the underside of the seal. And now I just want to press firm because it's, it tacks up really good. As you can tell, I've already kind of made a, an S mark within a few seconds. It's not coming off that S mark. So let me go ahead and show you now. Get this lid off. Here's what I do is <clears throat> go ahead and uh, set this up like this. All right, that's where I ended. Put your bead in like this. I just go back and forth right up against this jam all the way here like that and we can continue further in a second but i want to make sure we're good so now what i do is just put it here back side of this like that and i just let this down a little bit Go ahead and add a little bit more onto, uh, let me see. Sorry for the blurriness, just real quick. So right now I'm just putting on the back side of the gasket so I can go ahead and lay it just like this. So it's live and you kind of see its process. Like I said, it tacks up very, very fast. So I want to be pretty, pretty quick. All right, so that all finished up nicely. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the cab seal. That part number here, this one that actually goes around the entire cab. I've already went ahead and did a bead, a bead. Let it tack up a few seconds. On the outside, I'm stopping here. Same with the inside. Up all the way around, okay? So at the tip or edge of this, it pretty much goes one direction. And you'll be able to do a test fit first. But let's get this arranged here. All right. And essentially, this piece, the S part, will go, this curve that I opened up, will go around the lip. And it's the same process. You're just gonna wrap all the way around. All right, guys, so uh, I had to go ahead and do this off off film just because uh, I can't do it one hand that I had to have both hands. Uh, but it is tacked, and the stuff is really tacky. So once you get up here to cut your, your end, you can still add enough to where you can kind of do what I'm doing here and work it up in there like so. And you see on the back, it's still very tacky. The good part is 
is uh, if it dr if it dries like this, for example, you can just pick it right off. So that's I guess okay in my part. So essentially, when you shut this door, you're good. Back in business, all sealed. So next, uh, what we want to do is go ahead and put in the outer uh, uh, window seal and the inner. Uh, doing so, you want to go ahead and roll down the window. Uh, the seals have already had enough time to go ahead and dry. So go ahead and roll your window back down. And let's see what we got here. Um, I found it a lot easier to go ahead and do the outer side first, okay? And then follow up with the inside. But uh, all you essentially do is each one of these has new tabs, just like the old one. And just match it up with, with the slots like that. And I'm gonna kind of let it rest a little bit in, in place here. And here's where your flathead screwdriver comes in handy. So each of these has a little slot right here where you can put your, your flathead and just kind of push, push down and let it sit, uh, seat. And again, I'm doing this one handed, so bear with me. So that one kind of sat in a little bit. Let's go back and make sure this one will sit on a little bit, okay? And this front one here, just like that. And then very gently, because the glass is on the other side, go ahead and push it in like this. And you'll push it against the door and you'll hear it snap in. Let's see if I can demonstrate. Uh, right here, let's see. Well, I'll probably have to walk it all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. Be back. All right, guys. Uh, I had to do this off film. It's unfortunate, but it's the same reverse process of what you just saw here. You're just doing it on this side. And uh, what was easiest enough just to lay it down in the track and go ahead and get the uh, the prongs inserted into those little divot marks, and they'll snap in. And then roll up the window, and then you're all set. Um, all right, here we have it. Nicely sealed doors, windows, in and out, and cabs. Hey guys, thanks for uh, making it all the way through. I hope this really helps you guys. Um, this is actually how I do it. Um, and it wasn't that difficult. It took me about two and a half hours on just one side. Um, and also because I had to get all the old access uh, trim off that was frail and um, pretty much dry rotted. So it took a little bit longer than anticipated. So probably maybe about a two hour job on one side. Uh, I'm excited. Um, I can't wait to actually drive out in the, the nearest rainstorm or take a, a high pressure um, pressurized machine and give it a good wash just to kind of see what all it does. I think it's going to be great. Um, again, guys, like always, I appreciate you guys tuning back in. Like always, subscribe, comment, leave a, um, a, um, a message or whatever you want to do. Pass this video along. And until next time, God bless.